Welcome to Sea Stories with Mr. Do-Right. I'm your host, Mr. Do-Right. And today, my story is going to be about Phantom Submarines. But one day, we were out to sea and doing our donuts in the middle of the ocean like we always did. We were preparing going on deployment. So we had to get all our charts and everything ready to go on deployment to head over there to Europe. And we had to get everything done before we even make that trip. So the, the, the captain wanted to know if our chart inventory was accurate. So he was really adamant about it. He wanted to know the amount of charts that we had on board right then and there. Now we was out to sea and where we stored our charts was in the sonar sphere. Now if you don't know what the sonar sphere is, it's the very tip of the submarine. Now the tip of that submarine looks like it's solid metal but it's not. It's actually fiberglass and there's a, a dome inside that has all the hydrophones so we can use our sonar and everything. And there's a tunnel that goes from Burden all the way into that sonar sphere, right? So it's a little space, it's not really big, but a person can fit inside of there. And we used to store our charts in that sonar sphere. Okay, so you see where this is going. So the captain wanted to know what was the accurate inventory of the charts, because I guess he was in question on whether or not that the amount was right. It was a four-man team. He had somebody in Burden, he had two people, <laughs> in the sonar tunnel and then you had somebody in the sonar sphere they were handing charts to one person they were laying on their back passing them over <laughs> to another person and the other person grabbed them and passing them to the guy that was sitting in burden and let me tell you the, the opening to the tunnel was in somebody's rack so we had to wake them up rack them out so we can sit there and pass all this stuff through so it was all it was all hands divisional uh, exercise right then and there and it sucked because it sucks being underway and doing this so did I mention we was underway and that's important because <laughs> we had to get permission to go in there so everybody knew we were in the sonar sphere one of our new guys was inside the sphere passing out the, the bags of charts and he decided he was gonna sing a song to himself you know but instead of singing it in his head, he was singing it out loud. <laughs> and <laughs> this is when it gets funny. I don't remember the song. I couldn't hear him. But he was in there singing. Well, meanwhile, in control, in sonar, somebody was hearing somebody singing. And they thought the singing was coming from a submerged contact. Now, I don't know if you remember Hunt for Red October and they started singing and everything. And it's like, Sir, I think I hear somebody singing out there. I believe it's a smart contact. Oh no, they didn't believe that. They knew they was following the submarine and they heard her singing. But when they engaged the the caterpillar drive, <laughs> that's when you know they supposed to have disappeared off the of sonar. And they just heard her singing. They're like, go ahead and let the men sing. They can't, they ain't never gonna find us, even though they singing and they can't find you. But anyway, that's not the point. We back on the boat. Somebody saw and I hear somebody singing and automatically says, Sir, I believe we have a submerged contact out there because I hear singing in the water. And there's no contacts on the surface. So, officer the deck, not remembering that he gave people permission to go into this sonar sphere, <laughs> calls away submerged contact, man battle stations. So, Anytime there's a smurge contact, you man battle station. Next thing you know, bing, bing, bing. Everybody like, holy shit, we in trouble, right? <laughs> so we in the sonar sphere and we hear man battle station. We like, oh. So everybody's scrambling to get out the sonar sphere and everything. We have to close the thing up. We have to rig it for dive and everything. And that takes, that's not a quick evolution. We made it quick because we got a man battle stations. So we we close it all up, we rig it for dive, we get up to control because most of our, our jobs were in control already for map battle stations. So I get to the plot, I'm ready to go. I'm like, all right, man, what's going on? What's happening up here? You know, they said, man, there's a possible submerged contact out there. I'm like, a possible submerged contact? I'm like, how do we know that? They say we heard somebody singing. And so it had to be from another submarine. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you know we were in the sonar sphere, right? They're like, oh, y'all were? I'm like, yeah, we were. Didn't the officer of the deck tell you? I mean, he gave us permission. And so by that time, the captain then came in there, you know, woke up the captain. <laughs> he come walking in control like, 
All right, Officer Dave, what's going on? What's Smurf's contact? Well, sir, we, we have a possible Smurf's contact because we heard singing out there in the water. And the captain was like, really? He's like, didn't y'all? And we didn't have to say that. And he said, didn't you ask for permission for the Navi T's to go in the solar sphere to pull out those charts for the inventory that I wanted? He was like, well, yes, sir. He said, didn't they come to you and ask for permission and you gave it to him? He was like, well, well, yes, yeah, sir, I, I did. So could it possibly have been the Navi T's in the solar sphere that was singing and may have sounded like a submerged contact? Well, it's a possibility, sir. He's like, no. He's like, there is no possibility. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> Quartermaster, was somebody singing in the solar sphere? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Stand down from battle stations. <laughs> also, the deck, I need to see you in my stateroom immediately. <laughs> Find somebody to relieve you. So, next thing you know, he got relieved and he came back on watch. I ain't never seen no lieutenant face sagging so much. <laughs> he must have got an enlisted ass chewing right then and there. But, yeah, that's what happened. So, that's what happened. Man, it was, it was interesting because, you know, I thought we was finna get into some shit, boy. Well, some early contact. This is what we've been training for. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, no, not so much. <laughs> so, that's the story, man. All right. You ready to do this? You ready? All right, all right, all right, all right. One day, uh, wait a minute, how do we always start? You know, um, I forgot how they say that. Don't forget about it. <laughs> In the, in the, um, God, no, now I can't remember. 